प्रचुंड महाकाय सूर्य कोटि सम निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सर्वकारु सर्वदा Uh, welcome all. We have amongst us uh, Mr. Vinod Kothari, a chartered accountant over 12 plus years of experience in India, and a passionate trainer, partner of Vinod Kothari and Chartered Accountants Chennai. He has trained more than 15,000 CA students and professionals on GST, tally accounting software, Google Suite, and Excel. Presented paper on in various CPE seminars. college association college association he is a committee member of cii tamil nadu gst committee committee member of hindustan chamber of commerce past chairman direct tax committee hcc past co chairman indirect tax committee hcc vice president association of chartered accountants chennai and international Cha chamber of indirect tax and professional uh uh once again jay shri krishna we are uh, i'm sure most of us here are using tally in our day to day business accounting and operations and we have a c have a ca and accountants who generate the reports with the available knowledge they have i think tally is a very big ocean and there is a lot of data mining which can be done using it which can help us generate reports which can help us take lot of decisions from financial marketing to cost control which i think is the need of the hour we have tried to bring in some of the topics which will be taken forward before can i invite our president to welcome all thank you uh, thank you navneet and uh, warmly welcome you all uh, into this beautiful sunday morning uh, the first sunday of our financial year was when we did our digital installation and i should say you until yesterday too we received a lot of applause for m circle's responsible gesture in these circumstances so well done uh, m circle team members it's also for the first time since 8 years uh, we have now created a whatsapp group of all our honorary members with whom the board directly engages on strategic matters to experience on their wisdom and leverage on their uh, guidance having said that it's the first time that also we are doing a digital business development program and a topic very relevant as we start this financial year so i think namit what struck me the most was also the two sentences you messaged to the morning wherein you said your participation fuels our motivation i think a very strong leadership message well done on that and uh, something very thought provoking for all of us as well so with that note uh, happy to hand over to uh, navneet or directly to the speaker mr vinod welcome please and anuj if you can give the control to mr vinod please thank you navneet ji for introducing me firstly i would like to thank assist ji for giving me this opportunity and also i would like to thank uh, navneet ji keshav ji anuj ji and uh, surendra ji bagri for coordinating for this meeting a uh, very warm welcome to all the members of m circle we have seen that uh, out of my past experience i have seen that uh, as a business owner wherever i go for audit or accounts the last preference in many of the cases people give is for accounts they think that accounts is a job of an accountant he will prepare it file the returns it's okay but uh, when we go for audit we find that in the year end we find lot of uh, uh, mistakes and changes then the owners get to know that okay these are the mistakes happening and because of this lot of uh, unnecessary tax payment uh, penalties interest is paid and uh, also some cases we have also seen that uh, 
once the owners don't look into the accounts the swindling also in certain cases starter where uh, people take advantage of these things so my humble request as a owners to you all is that uh, give at least some time in a day at least say some 10 minutes or 15 minutes minimum to review the work of your accountant to ensure that your business uh, is going on smoothly your accountants are maintaining the accounts updated nowadays everything is digital one day or one deadline you miss in tds or gst or any statutory compliance you end up paying automatic uh, penalty and interest which is calculated automatically and you get notice within seconds so today's session is planned to give some insight on what are the reports which are available what are some common mistakes uh, which people make in tally and uh, the online report viewing options nowadays it's a digital world so tally by itself has given us this option earlier uh, we have to purchase software to use the online access now it is free from tally so in the next one hour we are going to see the options available uh, this will be a condensed uh, version wherein uh, what are the features it is available i would request all the owners to take some time in uh, uh, and understand personally take some time grow your knowledge to understand more better so that uh, you get updated and in a day at least 15 minutes you spend using these utilities to make yourself better and uh, grow more so we will start this session i am going to just share the ppt just a second so first uh, this ppt uh, i'll share with the organizers they are going they will going to distribute it to you so what are we what are we going to see in today's topic is that what are the common mistakes which uh, most of the accountants do and uh, when as a business owner how you should look it and what remedies you have to take then uh, now the biggest challenge for every company will be that uh, uh, cash position wherein uh, we may need to go for loans or financial help from various institutions so certain aspects which you can uh, see in tally reports to check your financial health of your company based on which you can plan your financial activities and then anywhere access certain tips for control to owners and then the question answer session so first we are going to see the common mistakes in most of the cases wherever i go i find that the there is a difference in opening balance this you can see in the balance sheet now what is this difference in opening balance means now difference in opening balance means there is no chance that in tally you have any place the difference between in the trial balance but only one place where you have a difference is the difference in the opening balance now say for example there is an audited financial statement that audited financial statement has a closing balance which has to be fed as a opening balance in the next financial year many accountants don't update the audited financial statements opening balance in the next financial year and sometimes they don't update it correctly where you find this difference in opening balance so whenever you open your tally open the balance sheet and just check whether there is any difference in opening balance i have marked it as under the red circle ensure that there should not be any opening balance difference if there is any opening balance difference then you cannot rely on those financials one reason is that the financials opening balance are not cor correct and may, it may not give you a correct picture of what is the correct position of your outstanding and the receivables so in many of the accounts where we go and visit we find this big challenge so ensure that uh, the opening balance difference is not there and along with that one more thing i see that people don't accountants don't group the ledgers correctly see ledger grouping is very important in tally that if you don't group a data under data if you group a data under the credit r it makes lot of impact for the readers of the financial statement so one you have to ensure that if you don't know how to do the grouping you can better check the audited financial statements your auditor normally will check this grouping and regroup the ledgers according to group so you can follow that method for your be better understanding of the financial statements so first is our common mistake whenever i open balance sheet out of 10 surely 7 to 8 i have seen that there is a difference in opening balance now how 
will you know whether your accounts are updated by the accountants or not your normal sale entry mostly 99% cases are updated purchase entries yes there is a challenge sometimes accountants don't update there is one method where i'll tell you in the last uh, how to find out that uh, certain criteria where you can find out whether your accountant has missed any purchase or not the in today's world most of the transactions are in the digital method maybe by a banking channel or by a online payment and very less cash transactions are there so first thing you need to ensure that whether your accountant has updated the bank statement or not this many accountants don't update and it is not only updating the accounts second is to check whether they have reconciled the balance with the bank statement or not see where balance between your bank account uh, as per your books and your bank statement there will be always be a difference because of some entries which you don't pass in tally some debit or credits in the bank account or some entries which you pass in tally that has been not reflected in the bank statement so have a healthy practice or tell your accountants that they have to mandatorily update the bank statement and ensure that they reconcile the bank statement in the tally books of accounts it's very simple i have given the procedure you go to display you can just take one minute to go and check you go to display then accounts book select the ledger and then select the bank ledger and press f5 if you press f5 can you see in the screen a bank date so the bank date column should be filled or it should be only one or two entries which is appearing in the next month reconciliation statement so in the bottom you can find that uh, balance as per company books amount not reflected in bank balance as per the bank this balance as per bank should match with your bank statement so one thing which you can implement is that ensure that when you go and check for accounts go to the bank account press fi and ensure that the monthly reconciliation is done so that you can find out which checks has not been cleared which checks are pending why there is a difference and you can know the bank balance correctly and accordingly you can plan your activities now today's big challenge is gst we are finding it difficult another big challenge is maintaining the accounts of gst in the tally or any software now if you see in tally tally is a complete account software which is linked with your inventory and which is also linked with your statutory what does this mean when you pass a entry in a tally say i pass a purchase entry now what are the links which are available to purchase one my purchase should be updated in the purchase ledger second my stock should be updated third my gst return should be updated now if you don't follow the structure what happens accounts you maintain separately inventory you maintain separately again gst calculation you maintain separately and time is wasted so tally has given a integrated solution where you can link your accounts link your inventory link your statutory all the three once you pass a purchase entry or once you pass a sales entry automatically your inventory is updated your returns are updated now why this updation of return is compulsory we all know that there are a lot of deadlines monthly gst compliance has to be done on time by 11th you have to file your gst r1 outward sales supply detail by 20th you have to file your 3b return if you don't file then penalty is per day levied 50, 50 rupees and then interest is levied now for you to know whether your accounts is perfectly uh, in tune with the gst i don't say that this will show you 100% correct result but at least 95 to 96% you can find out what are the mistakes done by your accounts with related to statutory link now basically two statutory links are that one is the tds and another one is the gst now i would recommend that wherever your accountants are using tally that you ensure that they enable 
GST and TDS. For this, only original version of tally will work. Pirated version will not work. So I again suggest that buy a original version if you are not using and if you are not using a GST because this is going to save you a lot of time. Now, how as a owner you can check this? See, it is very simple. I have given the step. You open tally, open your company, go to dis display. You will find an option called statutory reports. Then there you will get GST and select 3B and select the particular month or the year. This screen shot, what you are seeing is your summary of what are the entries made by your accountant. Now, can you see a small value in this, um, which I have circled tool. Now, what is this tool means? Incomplete mismatch information to be resolved. Now, ensure that this would be zero. Now, what is the impact of this? Once this is zero, this means that your accountant has passed the GST entries correctly. All the taxes which are calculated in the purchase or the sales are correctly calculated. All the links, that is when you file a GST return, there are many details which you have to provide. One is the GST number of the supplier, then the place of supply details, then the HSN code, then the rate. So a lot of reports are linked, a lot of details are linked to your return. If these details are not provided correctly, then the tally will give you a report that incomplete mismatch information to be resolved to well. That means you have to scroll down, enter on that. Tally itself will tell you that what is the mistake done. If there's a calculation mistake, it will tell that there's a difference in the calculation. If the GST number is not provided, it will tell you GST number is not provided. So tally by itself, mostly 80 to 90% I have seen that tally gives the correct result. So this one report can help you to find out whether your accounts are in compliance with the GST rules. Maybe some technicality may not be reflected, but overall majority of the things can be controlled here. So follow this method and ensure that your accountant follows correctly the GST procedures because passing GST entry in tally, lot of controls are required and proper controls are there, then GST return will be generated automatically. You don't need to waste time on filing the return. Just export the reports to the JSON file and upload the return and your time is saved and you don't get unnecessary wastage of uh, payment of late fees. So this is one report where I find that uh, many places, again, accountants uh, make a lot of mistakes. Now, another big place where uh, many accountants make a mistake is the managing of the receivables and payable. For a company's healthy financial position or healthy cash flow position, it is very important they know that what are the receivables and what are the payables. Now here, receivables and payables means what? Your sundry creditors. Sundry creditors means to whom you have made purchases and to whom the payment has to be made or you might have made some expenses for whom payments have been have to be made and your receivables that your receivables is debtors to whom the sales is made so to have a good accounts see again i said that tally is an integrated part once you create a data ledger it will give you an option to give you a bill wise breakup now what is this bill wise breakup now, bill wise breakup means once you pass a sale entry, then for every sale entry, one internal breakup in the ledger is created. Now, why this is required? Now, you may have, you might have a collection day of 30 days. You may give a credit of 30 days to your customers to calculate that you can prefix the credit days so that automatically you can find for which customer when the due is there. Same way when you receive the amount, you select the party ledger and you have to adjust the payment against the pending bill. So these are the pending bills. Here you can see that one party where so many pending bills are there, but the company has received 40,000 rupees. Now what is the mistake done here? If you see this 40,000 rupees has not been adjusted against any pending bill. 
Now, if such kind of ledger is maintained, then your receivables or payables will not show a correct picture. Second thing is to make the aging analysis. Now, what is the aging analysis? See, if you want to project what will be your cash flow in the future months or future dates, you can prepare a plan looking at your bill wise breakup. How much data are zero to 30 days? How many data are 30 to 60 days, 60 days and above? These kind of reports are automatically generated in tally once you go into bill wise breakup. So ensure that your accountants follow a correct procedure of maintaining the data and creditors ledger bill wise. I'll tell you the impact of this, you will find a big impact because I have seen many places people struggling to get the pending balance. Now they give the pending balance. You ask the bill wise breakup, they are unable to provide. Why they are unable to provide? Because they don't maintain the bill wise breakup correctly. Don't adjust the receipts or payments against the bill wise breakup. So you have to do only one thing. Go to the ledger of the data and just press alt b now if you press alt b this bill wise report breakup will also be also will be displayed and looking at this you will know what is the accountant doing whether he is making the entries correctly whether he is adjusting the ledgers correctly or not just check and tell him that he should ensure that all the bill wise adjustment are being done correctly and this is going to help in a major way so these are the few important things. Uh, see, there are many things in tally. If you take, keep on taking three hours, four hours. But I have taken some small important steps or important mistakes which a business owner can sit without any much effort, without any much knowledge in tally. If even if you don't know tally, nothing to worry. Just open tally. I have already given in my screen where you have to go just click on the button it is only enter 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 escape 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 you just see whether they are following this or not and reply you don't need to worry are you i don't know tally how will i know i don't know you don't need to know passing off voucher entry you only need to know how to control it by looking at a trial balance i can find out all the mistakes of an accountant why even if i don't know tally i need to analyze so that analysis you start it may be difficult in the starting, but once you do it, you will find a lot of changes and this is going to help you a lot in your updation of accounts and saving a lot of taxes and unnecessary penalties. Now we are going to see the how to find out the financial health of a company. Now what do I mean by the financial health of the company? <clears throat> now after the lockdown, we all know that cash flow is going to be a big challenge and for the purpose of cash flow the major thing is the working capital now for those who don't know working capital what is the working capital is that amount of capital which is required to run your business now that means in simple terms for the purpose of payment to vendors for the purpose of purchases or for the purpose of payment of expenses or day-to-day -day running expenses of the company, purely expenses or payment relating to your business. Now, in a business, there will be a many transaction. One is your capital inflow, one is your investment, another one is your fixed asset purchase. Major transaction will be your trading or manufacturing activities. Now, for managing this manufacturing or trading activity, what is important, which also the bank look at it is, how is your working capital? Now, working capital, normally what it is, is current assets minus current liability. That means how much is your amount receivable from the business? How much is the amount payable from the business? What is the excess which is available or shortfall which is available? If your working capital is in negative, that means you are into a financial crisis or there's a shortage of funds. If your working capital is good, that means you are able to expense, cover the expenses. Your cash is able to, the, the uh, amount of cash flow generated from your business, you are able to cover the payments, you are able to cover the expenses. Now, in general, if you see, there are some financial ratios like current asset ratio, 
working capital ratio debt equity ratio inventory ratio don't get confused yourself you don't need to do any working just go into tally all the working is done automatically the amounts also comes automatically you only need to know what it is is how to analyze that then there is another statement called as a cash flow statement now what is this cash flow statement you in a business when you are running you are telling that i am bringing so much cash i am having so much cash i am getting so much revenue but in my cash there is in my hand there is no cash where is the cash going whether there is a problem so how to find out that what is the inflow of cash what is the outflow of cash that report is generated from a cash flow statement that is also available in your tally by looking at the statement you can analyze from which are all the modes you are receiving the cash cash means also bank balance whether you are receiving from capital whether you are receiving from debtors or whether you are receiving as advance or loans all the details will be provided in the cash flow statement then there is another statement called as fund flow statement the difference between cash flow and fund flow statement is cash flow is for analyzing cash fund flow is analyzing the capital funds debt equity related inflow in the company so to analyze the working capital what is the source of uh, the funds what is the application of the funds to calculate the working capital position fund flow statement is been viewed and then two major important financial statement balance sheet trading and loss account normally you see balance sheet and trading and loss account or profit and loss account but do you ever compare your financials with the previous month or day wise or quarterly or yearly that is what we are going to see now the first report which we are going to see is the uh, ratio analysis i'll just take you to tally for just few seconds now in this tally screen you can see this ratio analysis that is in the reports fourth option and just click on the enter uh, enter on the select the option of the ratio analysis now once you select this ratio analysis this ratio analysis will be displayed for the particular period or the particular year which you are been passing the entries now how to read this ratio just one or few tips i'll take because of the time construction now you can see the working capital now working capital is positive that means as of now your working capital is positive uh, positive and you have funds to make the payments to your vendors or the purchase parties then there is certain current ratio now what is current ratio current ratio is the ratio which bankers check to find out what is your working capital normally your current ratio should be more than 1 if your current ratio is more than 1 or quick ratio is more than 1 then bankers give little weightage for the purpose of providing the loans same way you can check your gross profit net profit your receivables in turnover days now if you see this uh, just a second i'll change the financial year now if you see your receivable in turnover days that is what is your performance of your debtors here it is 84 days you are telling that my credit days to my debtors is 30 days but then in your report you find that it is 84 days that means somewhere some lapse in the collection is making so these kind of analysis you can do lot of things are there each and every item i cannot explain as of now now this is a particular period report if you want to see for the comparison purpose you have to press shortcut key n all 10 can you see this auto column if you click on this auto column tally automatically gives this report where you just click on quarterly it will give you an analysis of the quarterly reporting you can analyze which month or which quarter how was your working capital position in the first quarter it was 50 lakhs second quarter 51 lakhs all these analysis you can make you can also analyze that say for example gross profit in the first quarter was 1% and in the second quarter was 4.4% third quarter was 8.1% why this mistake is happening that means some issue is there in the stock calculation or some issues are the accounts are not updated how this difference can be normally your gp you know if it is 6% somewhere 6 5.8 5.7 A whole uh, around the year one or two percent up and down difference can be there, but so much difference cannot be there. So this way you can analyze this kinds of reports. 
then the next report is the cash flow statement again for cash flow statement if you go to display below the ratio analysis you have display and the here you have the cash flow statement i have already given in my ppt how to go to it you can just check in the ppt which i am going to share and just select cash flow now this is not the report which we are looking at you have to press the year then enter this is your cash flow statement now from where you are getting the inflow now here if you see from current liabilities now what is this current liabilities from sundry creditors you are receiving some 5 lakh 60000 from some current asset that is you might have received some advance from your debtors your indirect income you have earned some 5 lakh so you have received during the month 52 lakhs cash inflow is there but how much is the outflow 82 lakhs why so much Uh, outflow is there where the cash has gone now the capital 12 lakhs outflow is there of capital so these kind of analysis you need to sit you need to take some time how to understand this report and same way if you press alt n you can find this uh, report of uh, monthly quarterly and then you can analyze that capital during the year how much you have invested otherwise normally these things you have to go into the ledger and then you have to check same way funds flow statement now funds flow statement and cash flow statement there is a little difference fund flow statement is how is the funds coming for your business that is from capital or debts and how the application of such funds is there now why these are required whenever you go for bank loan they look for these funds flow to ensure that you have an healthy fund flow position and again to calculate the working capital working capital what are the changes in working capital now here you can see the changes in current asset uh, during the first quarter the net current asset difference is 13 lakhs next year it is 8 lakhs and then during the quarter the current liability is 9 lakhs so working capital i have an excess of 4.5 lakhs so these kind of analysis can be done for you to ensure it will take some time slowly one by one if you want take automatically over a period of time i'll guarantee you that you will understand these reports very easily next is the balance sheet a normal balance sheet what you see in tally is you just go to the gateway of tally and you can see here balance sheet enter this is the normal balance sheet you look now looking at this balance sheet will not give you much of information you will know what is the assets liabilities as on the date of the uh or as on date what is your financial just a second what is the financial statement but as a business owner you don't want this end result what do you want you want to analyze that is over a period of time how the business is been developed how the assets are increased how the debtors are increased so for this again you have to press alt n control uh, and then the i will press quarterly yearly whatever whenever i go for audit i check the monthly verification to find out what is the difference how the increase is there or how the decrease is there to find out if any mistakes are there or not so same way if you go for profit and loss account you get a similar kind of report for you to understand that whether your expenses monthly expenses now say for example salary now i'll check the salary my quarterly salary is 25000 again second quarter 45 why this variation is there so these kind of analysis becomes easy now your turnover first quarter turnover is 87 lakhs second quarter turnover has been decreased decreased so this monthly analysis you can make daily analysis you can make quarterly analysis you can make all those options are available so this is for profit and loss account so these are some simple reports it's very easy just go balance sheet all and and you can find out but they'll take some time you for for you to understand those who are already doing they can again little more enhance it with the further reports now tally recently has uh, given a new option that is recently one month back it has issued a new release new version now when you buy tally normally you get tally for one year option one year updation facility now if your tally is not updated that means your statutories are going to create lot of trouble 
Now, why you need to update tally is that one, the bugs or any mistakes gets updated. Any change in the reporting format, say for example, GST department is making some change in the report, those reports can also be updated. Tally updates it and then you need to update the tally software. So you need to ensure that you are having a tally release 6.6 .6, and you should have a valid TSS expiry. This is your tally expiry. It should not be in the red. That means if it is in the red, you cannot update your tally and you will have an account ID. This I have hided. So and this, see, this account ID is very important. So once you open your tally, ensure that you have the release 6.6. .6. Then you need to open your company. Once you open your company in the right hand side, you can find F4 connect. Now for using the report anywhere, you need to ensure that your tally is connected online. For your information, nowhere, no data is stored outside your system. Only viewing purpose tally is giving the report. So your reports are safe in your system. Whatever you are viewing in your mobile or your tab or your laptops are safe. Tally doesn't share to anyone or nowhere it is storing it. So once you open your company, if you have a security, then you will provide the user ID and password. If you don't have a security directly, it will go and then you need to press F4 connect. So once you press F4 and your internet connection should be on, this company is now live. That is, you can access this company anywhere in the world. If security is not created, provide the username and the password for the company. Then only this uh, feature will be allowed. Once you create a user ID and password for your company, or if you have already created, then you can go to security control. I have given in this blue box, what are the steps to create a security control, uh, how the procedure is. You have to create a user that is tally.net user for this. You have to press yes. And then you find that the screen will be open. There you have to select tally owner and then provide the email address. This, this email address should be a valid tally account email address. Then only you can access it. Now your company is connected. Can you see in this national engineers enterprises C? Now the C means what? The C means you are connected online. To whomever users you have connected, they can access the data of your company online. Now next, what to do? Go to your mobile, go to the browser, type tallysolutions.com. This window will open, click on the login. Once you click on the login, provide your tally account ID for which the user ID password is given for the company. Provide the password and login. You will find this. Now, since the company is connected online, you will find national enterprises status connected. Now, if national enterprises status is offline, that means you cannot access the company. Only if it is connected, then only you can access the company. You select on the national enterprises, you will get the reports. Now here, only reports are displayed. You can see the invoice. You can see what accountant has done, what entries he has updated till date. From here, you can even download the invoice in PDF format and you can share with anyone or also take a printout. Again, no data is showed anywhere. Your data is only in your system. So this option is there in any report that uh, down arrow. That means you can download the uh, file in a PDF format. So this is the solution which is provided by Tally free of cost. No may payment is required to be made. You can open in the laptop tab PDF anywhere in the world. Now another thing, one uh, last uh, report which we are going to see that how to control whether your accountant has passed the entries correctly. One, we have seen that bill wise breakup is given or not. Second, we have seen that bank account is updated or not. Now once bank account is updated, whatever payments or receipt surely will be hitting on any one ledger, right? So now your time to analyze whether the Entries has been passed correctly or not here much. I will not take. I'll only ask you to take only two aspects as of now initially go to the display trial balance and expand it. I have given all the shortcut keys here and you will press F 2 L show opening balance. Yes, transaction. Yes, closing balance. Yes, this report will be displayed. Now, what is this report? Now, the first column is your opening balance for the financial year. 
second column is the debit transaction in that ledger during the year third column credit transaction during the year in that ledger and what is the closing balance now few tips for you to understand your debtors and creditors now in case of creditors normally creditors should have a credit balance now here you have a credit balance here you have a credit balance now in this case bp it is a debit balance again in this case bp1 it is a debit balance what is the meaning of this debit balance one you might have paid an advance it may be a debit balance fine if it is debit uh, advance no problem certain times what happens you make a payment your accountant don't pass the purchase entries so this is a trigger now when in a sundry creditor if you are finding debit balance and in bill wise breakup also you find some payment entries which are debit balance that means the payment is made and the purchase entry is not made same way in your data normally you will find debit balance if you find credit balance now in the right you can see that debit and credit is there what is the meaning of this one you might pay the advance if it advance okay fine now otherwise what payment is received but invoice is not raised so these kind of analysis you can make in trial balance start with sundry data then credit card try to analyze this so that it becomes again here if you see in uh, bp where the opening balance is there no transaction made during the year closing balance what is the meaning of this during the year no amount has been collected or paid from the party so these kind of analysis can you can do it in a smaller way now we come to the last part certain additional features which you can use if you are a tally user one is the cost center again what is cost center is say for example you are doing a project multiple project you want to find out what is the cost or what is the profit of that project uh, you can use the cost center or you can have you have a multiple department in a, say for example your accounts department your marketing department your sales department you want to know each department how much they are using the how much cost is allocated to them whether so much uh, money spending is worth or not for that cost centers can be created second is many people when we create first level user id and password i would suggest that ensure that how many users are there for tally create multiple user id and password and give the controls now many times what happens that in many cases we complete the return filing again next month data comes again the data is changed why accountants make the change so these controls can be specified where the accountants will not be allowed to change the back dated vouchers all those options can be done in user level control again you can track who has passed the entry say you are having three accountants someone will tell that sir i did not pass the entry i did not modify the entries so you can give the responsibility of who has passed the entry then tally has a fixed uh, reporting structure there is no additional reporting which you can do but if you want to do an additional reporting like in your mobile you have a, a app available same way in tally if you see you have tally shop now if you open tally on the top you can find that there is a tally shop so from that uh, many people have already prepared some uh, predefined customized report if it is suitable to you you can download and use it for a trial and then you can buy it else you can contact the tally they will prepare the customized report then remote access apart from viewing the report you can even access your tally remotely and pass the entry that is again feature available and all your reports in tally can be exported to various formats like excel pdf html and excel exporting is again a next big tool any report of your tally you export to excel and then do further analysis it gives you wonderful reporting but for that you should know the excel and pivot table only one tip i'll give for you that is pivot table you learn and then use all your sales report and the other reports and then use the pivot table i'll tell you you can create wonders and help in analyzing your reports so with this i complete the session uh, since uh, time uh, is uh, short i have uh, completed uh, my session so any question and answers members can post uh, they can ask the questions i'll uh, be happy to give you answers ashish ji yeah thank you so i see quite a few questions are already coming in the chat box uh, 
navneet would you want to take up a few questions just considering if some of them are repeat then you may just want to pick any one okay uh, there is a question which is from uh, in fact from akm uh, which is my exp- uh, no how to a- enable cost centers in tally okay for enabling cost centers in tally you- yeah shall i continue yeah i mean if you can make it bri- uh, in brief uh- okay okay for uh, i'll just uh, go in briefly uh, tally uh, i'll just share with you the screen in tally if it's very simple cost center uh, you have to press f11 now f11 is the feature press f11 there you will get an accounting feature in the accounting feature you can see this option cost center so by this you have to activate the cost center and further uh, all the procedures can be followed but you need to take some time to understand what is cost center how to do the setup Yeah, now Nidhi. All right. Yeah, uh, we have a question from uh, Praveen Bihani. Yeah. Can I connect multiple companies online at a time? Yeah, multiple okay. companies connecting. Yeah. Yes. So if you have a multiple company, okay. open. Then there's another question. Uh, you open all the companies, then press F4 for each company. All the companies will be connected to your. uh in your system you open your yeah. mobile and then you can proceed with your reporting yes namneet ji i think uh, just a second okay i have the chat uh, since this sharing was going on i was unable to say this okay uh we do not able to use inventory features of tally and also cannot generate invoice from tally due to our manufacturing business yeah can we still use gst okay very good question uh, one of member mr pravin ji has asked this question that uh, they are into manufacturing business and uh, they are unable to use inventory uh, whether they can use tally uh, tally as such i would suggest that if you are in the manufacturing industry i will not recommend you to use tally if you want to control the inventory otherwise only for accounts it's okay or if only two or three items are involved and the manufacturing process entry you want to pass you can do it but otherwise it is a complicated thing in tally i would not suggest uh, manufacturing people to use tally they can use it only for the accounting purpose or maybe finish kuch uh, calculation purpose Okay. Uh, one member, uh, Mr. Keshav Ji, has asked me that uh, a small briefing on analyzing financials using cash flow. Uh, once again, okay, uh, Keshav Ji, uh, you open your tally, you go to display. You can find this option below the reports. Fifth option, display. In this, you will find cash flow statement, and again select cash flow. now this cash flow report is of no use many people check this and then they leave it they don't know what it is and then uh, they just uh, ignore it now this just press again enter and alt f1 now viewing at this report you find two columns one is inflow second one is outflow now inflow means what during the month from where and all you have got the funds now in this case a sundry creditor as uh, uh, maybe he might have it may be a grouping mistake or what i don't know but some sundry creditors have made a payment of 5 lakh 60000 to you uh, so sundry debtor collection is 41 lakhs during the month and uh, some rebate or discount i think again uh, some income is there which is grouped wrongly so that income you have got from the this is purely cash transaction no accrual whatever cash you have received or the bank account check you have received this amount is being showed so this is the inflow and how your cash has been utilized during the month now out of the 52 lakhs what you have been uh, got as inflow you have uh, made pay- payment to partners of some 12 lakhs then you have paid your taxes of 3000 rupees creditor payment you have made to 68 lakhs 
some data advance you have paid. So this way payments and some expenses you have made. Now you may ask a question that during the month 52 lakhs cash flow is there, but I have paid some 80. How is it possible? This 29 lakhs is previous month cash balance which you might be having. Um, that balance you might have paid. So hope I have uh, made you understand this. Can we do budget versus actual comparison in tally? Yes, budgeting can be done in tally for that. Again, uh, you need to press F11, which is an accounting feature in tally. Uh, you can find in this accounting feature on the right hand side, budgets and scenario. So if you activate this budget and scenario here, yes, and then you go to your accounting info and budget. Here you create your budget. Now you can create multiple budget, monthly budget, quarterly budget, yearly budget, and then provide the details. Now what budget uh, means normally, what will be your probable revenue for the month or probable revenue for the quarter or probable revenue for the year and again related expenses. So all these things setup can be done. If you go through this option, you will find the setup of the uh, uh, budget. Okay, okay one let's person. just take one last question, uh, Mr. Vinod. One last question. Thank you. Okay. Uh, one person, has, uh, Mr. Nirmalji, has asked that uh, uh, what is this uh, show profit in the inventory? Now, inventory due to time, I have not taken much. But if you go to stock summary, in the right hand side, you will find some option called as show profit F7. Now, F7. Now, again, this is an audit tool which I use it uh, for the purpose of uh, only it applicable for the traders. It is applicable for the traders. Now, here, if you analyze this, what is the gross profit which you have earned on individual stock item? Now, how to analyze this report? Now, this is your stock. Uh, uh, which sales now again here if you see negative balances are there so negative balance should not be there in stock now say I'll take an example of 1020 and 586 that is your consumption then your gross profit so gross profit is 43 four double three so what is the gross profit earned on each and every stock which you sold now in the bottom if you see there is some grand total now for the whole year if you press and check this grand total 3 lakh 1000 and you compare this 3 lakh 1000 with the profit and loss account here you will find that there is a gross profit if your stock you are maintaining in tally correctly for the trading companies then the gross profit which is showed in the F7 report and this gross profit should tally that means your inventories has been passed entries correctly. There are no in between journal entries or no transfer entries are there. And one last report, which I will uh, end with and complete with. There is one report uh, in tally, which you can call it as a, take it as an exceptional report. You go to display uh, and exceptional report in the last you can find. Now, what is this exceptional report? This one report will give you, if you are having multiple stock item, one one item, you cannot check what is the negative stock item. Just give the negative, select the negative stock. You will get the negative stock ledger, uh, stock uh, items and negative ledger. Now, what do you mean by negative ledger? Sundry data having credit balance or sundry credit are having debit balance or debit balance ledger having credit balance, credit balance ledger having debit balance. Again, this is also used for analysis, negative ledgers your overdue receivables, overdue payables, all these reports are available here. So thank you very much. Thank you, Ashish ji. Thank you, Navneet ji. Uh, thank you, M Circle for giving me this opportunity. And I thank all the viewers for your uh, patient hearing. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, everybody. I'd like to thank Mr. Vinod Kothari for keeping the session crisp and specific and giving some basic tools and controls to keep in mind as uh, business owners. I mean, like opening balance, correct grouping of masters, update of the bank statement, uh, GST statutory links,
ratios and calculate working capital and comparison analysis uh, using tally and enjoying a lot more through excel data i mean there's lots more i know but due to paucity of time uh, we thank you for covering most of it uh, i'd also like to thank my committee uh, who supported me uh, anuj bihani komal dhiran and kaushik kannani and the president and secretary uh, we like to have more sessions of this sort and i'm sure all of you have enjoyed it uh, Uh, feedback from your side will really uh, encourage us and any specific topics that you might have please do share and we'll try to see if we can uh, keep connecting you uh, through this platform uh, once again uh, wishing you all uh, a great financial year and uh, stay safe uh, we have another two weeks of lockdown so let's use this time to upskill ourselves thank you once again thank you mr vinod kathari and thank you everybody and thank you thank you so much thank you bye bye Thanks. Thank you.